I still reckon Chris Tate's having them all on. Well, it's not his style. Well, if someone's kidnapped him, where's Ransom not? And say they've done him in, why don't they just leave him in car? It don't make sense. Morning, Zoe. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Bye. The locum phone should be in later. Fine. Thanks for coming. Well, it's part of my job, pastoral care. I was hoping for a bit more than professional concern. Of course. Everyone else avoids me. They don't know what to say. I don't blame them, I wouldn't. I hear they've called in Spalding. So what? Well, that's doing something, putting the CID on the case. I think they've given up on him. They think he's dead. We're looking for a body. It's got so I just want to know either way. If he is dead, I just want to know. No, you don't know what to say. I nearly said I understand, but of course I don't. Not really. Are you busy? Not especially. I was going to go for a drive, get away from the village. Do you want to come? Of course. Do you have business here? No. I don't even know why I am here. Home farm's like a magnet for the Tates. Our home. I really didn't know you were so fond of the place. I lived here a long time. It must hold a lot of memories for you. Chris and Kathy got married. <laughs> Dad hired a helicopter to take them on honeymoon. The Tates were almost a happy family once, Ashley, believe it or not. I think Chris is always trying to get back to that. Look at the way he went after Kathy again. Didn't he try to buy the place back? He asked me for money to help him. I told him he should give it up and move on. In the very superior way that you reserve for your family. I let him down, Ashley. Perhaps you were right. Chris wants to hand home farm to Joseph. I see. Just before he... Before he disappeared, he asked me again. I said no again. You couldn't have known what would happen. It was one thing he really wanted. Not for himself, for Joseph. It was the last thing he asked me. And I said no. What do you think of Chris? Well, uh, are these the best circumstances to talk about him? Go on. He's a very efficient, determined man with a sharp sense of humour verging on the acidic. But do you like him? Yes, I'm very concerned that he's missing. You're concerned for me? Yes, but obviously I'm thinking of Chris too. I'm the only person left who really cares. He's driven all the others away. It's been almost two weeks. Wherever he is right now, he's thinking about me, wondering why I haven't come to find him. Perhaps he thinks I don't care. Actually, I've been... I've been... going over all our history. All our rows. If he's... dead, what's it all for? It was just there. I didn't think about it, what he wanted. Why he acted in the stupid, sarcastic way that he did. I never knew how much I needed him. So he... And the worst thing is the waiting. I, I can't sleep. I can't eat. I've grown so suspicious of everyone. Don't be hard on yourself. Be strong for him. What 
wish there was something I could do. Hi, Zoe. Any news? No, I would have found you. How are you being up? Oh, I can't imagine what you're doing. I've decided to... something. Yeah? I can't help find Chris, but I can do something for him. The last thing he asked me. Well, I don't understand. I owe it to him and Joseph. I turned him down twice before and I know how much it means to him. If it's not too late, I want to buy home farm. <laughs>